Okay, welcome back to Final Fantasy X, everyone. Oh, a battle, straight away. Uh, I think we've seen this enemy formation, and you know what? I'm really not in the mood to fight these guys right now. So, we're gonna go. Um, welcome back. It's been a while, uh, but I think this is where we left off. Right about here at the end of the Jose High Road. Getting, I'm gonna get to Jose pretty soon. Oh, ambushed. Ah, guess we'll fight these guys. Um, especially if they keep missing like that. That's really good. Okay, Thetis, take care of the dog. This thing is pretty annoying because it has like the uh, blob thing has like 600 HP. So Lulu cannot actually one shot it. We do want to get everyone involved here. We need Yuna. Let's cast No Frost. Just in case. It does actually help. It only costs 2 MP, so there's no reason not to use it. Kimari in here. I, I actually uh, charged up Tidus' Overdrive completely by accident. So I'll use that eventually somewhere. Has Oren? Yeah, Oren has gone. Okay, I think everyone's gone except Lulu, so let's finish this off. She should be able to kill him. Yep. Alright, that's all good. Okay, gonna do some leveling probably once I get to the actual temple here. It's gonna be a little quiet spot here. Hey! How much longer till Xanarkin? Still a ways. First down the moon flow to the Guado city of Guado Salam. Then we cross the Thunder Plains to the temple of Makalania. Oh boy. <laughs> And before that, we get to pray at the temple in Jose. So weird how she says that. It's always kind of I always kind of find that found that weird. I have to pray to the faith in every temple in order to earn the final Aeon. That's a summoner's training. She's gotta prepare mind and body, all just to get ready for the final summoning. Hmm. Must be tough, Yuna. <laughs> I'll be fine. With you here. Oh shit. So yeah, here we are, Temple of Yevon, Jose. Ah, I don't like this. I really like the summon we get from this temple. Hey, new guy. Me? Who else? What can I do for you, boss? Don't tell Yuna you know about Sin and Jeft. Huh? You know her. She would distance herself from you. We do not want that. I see. I think. Yeah, but even if I did say something, no one believed me, you know? Yuna would. Ah, you have a point. Come to think of it, did I really have to know about Jekt? What about my feelings? Better than you finding out at a critical moment, becoming emotional. What? Me? Emotional? <laughs> I heard you were quite the crybaby. Yeah. Maybe Poor Titus. Everyone is making fun of him. Maybe even a little now. Just a little. Hey, I still don't buy your story, you hear? Okay, so where was I? Oh yeah, I really like the summon we get from this temple. But the problem is the actual temple itself. Uh, this is always the first cloister that I kind of have trouble with. Whoa. And it's a really cool looking place too. Talk to these guys too. Yuna, it is good to see you and your companions are well. Yourselves as well, Captain. We were worried. Praise be to Yevon. Oh. We escaped with our lives, but our troops were decimated. Yeah, the they were chocobos more like disintegrated. We make pretty poor chocobo mounted forces without chocobos. We turned our backs on the teachings and cast away our faith. This, this is our just reward. I don't think these are the only chocobos in the Final Fantasy world, so, you know. Let's go ahead. Everyone's being slow here, so let's just race ahead of them. So yeah, Jose. I'm gonna see, this is a very cool looking place.
Oh wait, <laughs> shit. I was waiting for the cutscene to start. We have to move forward. Completely forgot that. Awesome. Yeah, it certainly is. Obviously, you can guess what type of Aeon we're gonna be getting from here. Based on the fact that electricity is crackling all around the place. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. After Screw her. Right. In we go. Okay, in we go, indeed. But before we go in, there is this little place here. It, this is an inn, I think. It's also a shop as well. So I'm gonna see what we can uh, buy here when, in terms of weapons. Fencing saber. Nah. Rune rod. Hyper bo ah, not really worth it. Halberd. Hmm. No, this is what I already have is better. We'll get this. Get this because this is an improvement. And whatever, we're good here. Really, the shields, what type of shield you have, really, honestly, doesn't matter. But there's also a save point here, so I do rec recommend saving because it's been a while. We did just go through the second part of the Jose High Road here. Not that there were that many difficult monsters here. None of the temples actually have monsters, so... Yeah, this guy's here. How's he doing? Where is he? I found him. He was torn in half. I... That idiot. What? What do I do now? I can't do this. I'm going back to Bisay. So yeah, I think that is actually the last time we see him. He doesn't appear in Final Fantasy X too, obviously, because um, he has a possibility of dying, so they cannot put like a character like that in there. So you're a champion of the Evan now, Braska. Oh yeah, this guy. Ugh. of Lord Braska. You have the look of your father. My father? You knew him? No. I have never met the man. Ah, my apologies. I am Isaru. I am a summoner, like you. I'm so yeah, this is Isaru. I don't know, I never really liked this guy. Maybe it's his voice actor. He has kind of like a weird... Since I, was a child, I don't know. Always looked up to don't really like Isaru. I wished I would someday become He's better than Donna, like but not by much. This is not an asshole. Must have some of your father's talent in you. I believe you might someday defeat Sin. I... I'm not really. I've only just become a summoner. Of course, I've no intention of losing either. So perhaps we should race to see who can defeat Sin first, no? Oh, very well then. I accept your challenge. Okay, sounds like a plan. Isaru. Yuna, I beg your leave. Good I wonder who's gonna win. Me or him. Or us or him, more like. Okay, let's not waste any more time. It is time to take on the... Oh, Morisaru. You are Yuna's guardian, no? Moroda's heard a curious rumor. I thought you should know. I heard it from those crusaders. Seems that summoners have been going out on pilgrimage and just disappearing. It could just be the fiends got them, but not so many so quickly. Sorry I don't know more, but watch your back. Maybe it's an assassin? Ain't much future for a guardian without a summoner, eh? What? What? What you all talking about? 
disavowed. We're talking about doing your job as a guardian. Hey, I'm doing good. Right, big brother? Please be careful. Alright, it's not like we'll there are like seven of us, so it's not like we cannot handle anything. Passe. Oh what? We're leaving. Okay, you goodbye, Saru. See ya. Let's get going here. Into the cloister. Trials lies with it. Of course I'm prepared. Um yeah, this cloister, first one I really had trouble with when I started the game. So All right. Guardian, at attention. We are ready. Of course. All right. Let's do it. So, pretty much everything here like the other temples is themed. The theme here is electricity. This one is a pretty simple first part. Just got to open this door. Just takes a while, you know. But this is a pretty lengthy temple too, so we're gonna be here a while. Don't know, let me check my time here. Oh, I'm only 11 minutes in. Alright, we should be very good here. Okay, so basically, the aim for this puzzle is to light up all the pieces of this uh, glyph here in the center. Okay, so what we're gonna have to do, I think, is we'll take this out if I'm not mistaken and put this on the other end. I did look look up this before starting the episode and hmm okay now we're going to yeah this is it push it to the right I think and this should allow us to get this oh wait no I remember what we have to do shit yes 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 I just remembered we'll have to put this here and then take this out and put this here and this is basically gonna electrify that other Jose sphere and create like a special sphere here that's kind of like charged up no, don't push it. And I think what we have to do with this is remove it and then bring it back to the first platform here, which I think should open this doorway here. Yes, good. And right here, you can take these out and place this in here. Gonna light up the glyph like this. And what we can now do is step on the glyph here to bring the platform back. I think what we have to do is push this pillar down here this way. Which will allow it to float, I think. Oh no it won't. Shit. I think we have to have a Jose sphere in it. So actually we cannot I don't think we can go back and pick these up. Oh no no, these are locked. So, what we're gonna do is remove this sphere here. And then, yeah, you don't have to show that every time. This is why I kind of like don't like the Cloister of Trials, but I've said this before. It's kind of like a very slow process. I wish they would have made it, or they could have made it a lot more streamlined. I think if we push it in like this, it's gonna happen. Oh, does it not float? Shit. Hmm. Okay. Do we have to have... Hmm. I can also... No. Don't be stupid. Do I have to put both of these in here? Or is there something... No, wait. Let's try it now. Maybe you need two spheres to make this float. The de yes. See, I def definitely remember that there's a part where you have to have both of those spheres in the pillar. But yeah, like this, it's gonna float there, allowing Tidus 
to hmm, yeah to jump across it's just not easy to actually get him to pull it off I'm gonna do that which should light up another part of the glyph the central part right there and I think all we have to do now is get back because now that part is activated reset the switch and we can take these spheres out now put one in here and where do we have to put the final one let me just think here hmm I think we have to bring it all the way back there and yeah we can use the oh yeah I remember now we have to take out there you go well done we have to take this back to the beginning here and then we'll take the electrified sphere out and place that on the final glyph. This is not the end of the cloister, this is just the first part. We still have all the destruction thing to do. Destruction sphere thing. Because this can, despite the fact that it's kind of like a special Jose sphere, can still be used to light up the glyph. So yeah, let's place it in here. And this will allow us to take an elevator up to the second part. And that's where we'll have to do all the destruction sphere stuff and everything. Okay, here we are, second floor. Now, what we have to do here, if I'm not mistaken, is push these pedestals into place and this is going to activate something I think it's gonna activate the center part here basically this is not much of a puzzle we just have to push the spheres or push the pedestals into their place but we're not done yet because we haven't done the destruction sphere thing Yeah, that basically opens up the way. We can basically take that route and get to the Aeon and get things over with. But we don't want to do that. What we want to do is get down here. And I think, yeah, there it is. This little light, which is actually a glyph. Gonna open this door and allow us access to a destruction sphere. And all we have to do now is not do that. Oh wait, yes, this is what we have to do. For a second I thought we have to place it in the door there. But I think this is where it goes, right here. And yes, it's gonna blow the wall. And we should basically be out of here. I don't remember what this item is. But I think all of these tend to be pretty useful. It's a magic sphere. So, I'll probably give that to Yuna or Lulu. It depends on whether it's an MP upgrade or like a magic defense or magic upgrade. So yeah, that's the Cloister of Trial over with. It can take a while the first time you try figuring it out. Okay, let's talk to everyone. Well, that's not exactly fair. Oh. You're here again. What's your problem with how many people I'm traveling with? What is it, Bartello? You know this riffraff? You are. Are it, no? What of it? Can I shake your hand? Aren't. No. Sir Aren't. You're the reason I became a guardian. Oh, he's a fanboy. That's sweet. Thank you, sir. This means so much to me. Calling the personal guardian the Lord Brasco Riffraff? 
And you call yourself a summoner? Yeesh. Bartello, enough. Get back here. Hang in there, buddy. Eh? <laughs> Poor Bartello. He's like stuck with this bitch. Quite the show, yeah? Not so good on the heart, though. Okay, I think. Big spot. Shut up. Wait. Yep. Don't mess with Kimari. You should try to settle down. Oh yeah, we've heard her before. I swear, I'll never wash this hand again. That's Please disgusting. Touch me with that hand and I'll remove it. I think, yeah. When you have nothing to do, exiting or trying to exit the area always works. So yeah, that was pretty quick. Seems like she's getting the aeons quicker and quicker. For Valifor, it took like a whole day. And I hear Maester Seymour is quite taken with you. The world must look different when you're the daughter of Lord Braska. This has nothing to do with my father. I'm traveling on my own as a full-fledged summoner. Can we just kick her ass and get oh, it over so? with? Then try standing on your own two legs for once. Your guardians won't be able to protect you when the time comes. The weird thing is, I don't think they ever explain what her problem is, really. She's just kind of like that. Yeah, this is our new Aeon, Ixion. Really, really cool summon. You'll see what it looks like. Probably one of my favorites, even though I don't really use Aeons. Actually, I like almost all of the Aeons in this game, I have to admit. But yeah, we definitely want to save after that, because... This is not something we want to go through again. There are a few more cutscenes here that I'm gonna just go through here and then we'll finish up this episode. Orin is getting like pestered by a monkey. For the journey ahead. Okay. Donna has left. You saw route two. Okay, good. What are you two talking about? Nothing important. How dark the night. Morning always comes, and our journey begins anew. All right. Well, can we go? We're leaving once Yuna gets here. Oh. Can we check up on her? Cause she's taking her sweet time. She's staying in the temple, by the way. I think. Oh, this guy's still here. I'm going back to Besaid. With Luzu gone. Yeah. Be hard fighting alone, wouldn't it? Most of the other crusaders have already left. I'll go soon. Okay. Let's check on Yuna. I think this is where she is, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there she is. And this She's creepy woman is healing the wounded. Oh. Okay. I guess I'll just let her sleep for now, then. There is treasure in here. I want to pick it up. Come on, let me pick it up. Ah. Morning. What? Morning? Don't worry. But it's morning. <gasps> Please let me pick up the I'm treasure. So sorry. I'll get ready right away. Just a moment. No. Oh. I want the treasure. Don't worry. It's okay. Ah, I'm gonna have to go back, aren't I? Oh well. Can I go back? No. Yo, sleepy head. Sorry, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Really, there's no rush here. Your hair. <laughs> A summoner with bad hair. What's the world coming to? You could have woken me up. Uh, we called to you, but with all that snoring. Uh, oh. mm. What is it today? Everyone's picking on me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you too, Sir Orin? 
Once Lady Yuna fixes her hair, we leave. <laughs> I hadn't really laughed like that in a long time. It was only later that I realized. The only one really laughing then was me. Laughing must have been the only thing keeping them going. Okay. Why are you saying that? Actually, hopefully we can go back to the temple. Yeah, so they're dropping kind of hints that there's something going on, but... We're not gonna find out what. Okay, gonna go ahead and see what this is. So was she just watching over Yuna to take her bed once she gets up? Wow, that is interesting. Alright, I'm gonna actually check the other room as well, but I'm doubtful that there's anything in here. Oh, there is actually something in here. And that is a Mega Phoenix, okay. Alright, I think I'm pretty much done for this episode. I went through the Jose Temple, got a brand new Aeon. So I'm gonna go ahead and go outside and save again. And we can be on our way. So as I wrap up this episode, I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Final Fantasy X. And I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.